DFW, non-stop. Now on Digital 5.2. These cable channels, and always on. Welcome back to 5 Talk Street. I'm Scott Murray. BAPS Charities is a nonprofit international charity that also serves our local community right here in North Texas through programs for health, education, environment, and so much more. And joining me right now is Dr. Jay Patel. He is an international radiologist at Baylor Medical Center and one of the many physicians who volunteers his time for BAPS Charities. And alongside is Deepan Patel. He is a most important volunteer, and we are delighted to welcome you both. Thank you so much for coming. For Thank you it's for having us. It's great to see you. BAPS. First of all, tell us what it's all about. So BAPS Charities, as you mentioned earlier, is a international nonprofit mm -hmm. charitable organization at, that aims at serving the needs of individuals, families, and communities. And uh, you know, we, we try to we, we hear this sentence all the time. You know, think globally but act locally, and and that's exactly what we try to do. BAPS Charities volunteers are spread across the world, and so we're able to respond to to needs as they occur. And so you know, health fair is one of the consistent events that we've had over the past 10 years locally in our region. Uh, health fairs occur at you know many major centers, Dallas, Houston, and, and several other cities. Same thing with uh, BAPS Charities walkathons. Uh, they're also another way of us giving back to the local community. We uh, have had beneficiaries such as Susan G. Komen for the Cure, American mm -hmm. Diabetes Association, mm -hmm. Children's Medical Center of Dallas, and also some local beneficiaries that uh, have, uh, you know, been able to spend the funds. Uh, a, a local uh, one example is a local fire department was able to use the funds uh, from BAPS uh, Charities Walkathon to invest in a fire safety house, and uh, and you know those children who congregate at uh, schools or, or picnics or events, you know these fire safety houses can can go out there and and uh, the firefighters can teach uh, children about fire safety and prevention. So not sure how many lives that might have saved. So that's how we give back locally. That's very cool. Now. You mentioned it's been almost 10 years. 2003 is when you started. Where did this all begin initially? Well, we're very fortunate at BAPS Charities to have a good group of healthcare professionals, including many physicians. And we all got together back then and <laughs> back decided, in the good old days. Back huh? in the good old days, <laughs> yeah. And decided we needed to make a difference in the community. And we thought, well, what better way than to use our expertise to help serve the community? And that's how the health fairs. Uh, kind of got started locally, but as Deepin mentioned, our health fairs are not only local, but they're global as well. In North America, last year we had health fairs at 41 different locations benefiting. Just in the United States? In North America, so Canada and, so the, Canada United and the United States. Yes, correct. Really? And uh, we were able to benefit over 12,000 participants with wow. the health fair. Now locally here in North Texas, our health fair last year benefited over 800 participants and we had 100 healthcare professionals including 75 physicians across all specialties so that's how the health fair kind of got started and it evolved into what it is now and we anticipate for the 2012 health fair to have over 1000 participants and over 100 physicians and some of the things that we offer during these health fairs include EKG testing pap smears mammograms blood tests ultrasound exams to screen for heart disease. Now, are these free of, of charge? Uh, do you pay they're a fee either to come in? Or? Uh, they're either free. Some, it's a, kind of an a la carte okay. uh, way of going about uh, choosing what test you want to go with. But some of the tests are absolutely free. And some of the tests that require a fee are very minimal. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but what would be a lot more if you had to go someplace yeah, absolutely. professionally. Absolutely, yeah. Right. To give you an example, the um, ultrasound screens that we do mm -hmm. that I'm a part of, um, if you were to go out and have an echocardiogram to look for heart disease, that would be several hundred dollars. We charge less than $50. Oh, you're kidding. No. Oh, my goodness yeah. gracious. Hello, folks. October 6th. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's fantastic. I'd like to give an example, if I may, of how our health fairs have kind of benefited and impacted individual lives. Please. We had a, a participant last year who came to us and had complained of dizzy spells for several years without a diagnosis. We did an ultrasound to look at his carotid arteries, which supply blood flow to the brain, and we found a 99% blockage of one of his carotid arteries. In fact, he had a dizzy spell during the health fair we decided to go ahead and call 911 
get him transported to at the health fair. At the health fair, correct. We got him transported to a local hospital. He had surgery that same day to remove the blockage and basically prevented him from having a major stroke and probably saved his life. Mm -hmm. So that's one concrete example of how our health fairs have impacted in an individual's life. Uh, and so we are just trying to grow upon that and, and, and move forward with that. And so our health fair um, this year in 2012 will be on October 6th. And registration begins August 5th and will continue all the way to October 5th. Okay, October 6th at the location is? Yeah, the location is the BAPS Temple, which is located in Irving. The address is 4601 State Highway 161 in Irving. It's very close to the airport, very easy to get to from both Dallas and Fort Worth. Unbelievable. Deepin, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Dr. Patel, thank, thank you. you, and My thanks pleasure. to all your fellow physicians for all they, to, to, to donate your time like that. Over the top. Appreciate thank you, it. thank you, thank Thanks you. Good stuff. October 6th is the date. Check it out, folks.